It's the start of another week in my fourth grade class. Welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Marily Sanchez and I'm a fourth grade teacher in South Florida. Today is Monday, April 8th, 2024, and it was the solar eclipse day. I know that from Miami, we only saw a partial solar eclipse, but it was way cool. And we made sure that the students watched the live NASA live stream from YouTube on the big Promethean board at the last hour of the day so that they could see how the total eclipse was affecting different cities across the United States, which was very exciting. And of course, they got to listen to a lot of different NASA scientists. This morning, I started with my block to my ELL students, and they started by completing a writing frame for Sadie's game. This is the writing frame right here. This is my answer key. I had students use the story in their reading, writing companion in Wonders to help them come up with the answers. I also used my daily slides, and I have this cool little GIF today. And this is the word bank or the word box that I gave them so that they could use it to go ahead and complete their assignment. After that, the students went ahead and took their scaffolded reading assessment. This one was The Best Kid Brother, which was a realistic fiction, and they have all their scaffolds, and they answered five questions on this particular story. Then for writing, we were looking at comparing with the word good. Of course, from good, we go to better, and then best. And then we were comparing with the word bad. From bad, we go to worse, and then worst. So that's what we worked in our writing lesson for today. Then it was turn for that group to get their treats for today. So I laid it out just like I did for my class on Friday, my homeroom on Friday, and they got their treats and we watched a little bit of Elemental on the board for a few minutes while they ate their snacks. Then it was time for me to get my homeroom in the afternoon and they started by working on their reading assessment for the same unit, Wonders Unit 5, Weeks 3 and 4. I know the students didn't finish because after that they went to PE and after that we did the Eclipse live stream. So I'm going to give them time tomorrow morning when they start with me so that they can finish that assessment and I can put that final grade in the grade book. My friends, that is all that I have for today, Monday. I will see you tomorrow. Hello everyone. Welcome to the end of the day Tuesday and we had a pretty good day. I'm just super duper exhausted. This morning, I completely forgot that I was administering the last part of the access for ELL's assessment. It was a listening comprehension assessment. So instead of, because I started today with my homeroom, instead of switching the students from classroom to classroom, I just talked to my co-teacher. I went to her room so I can test her students, which were the ones that were taking the test, and then she could be with my students while I was doing that. The good thing is that that testing took about 30 minutes and then I was back with my students making sure that they were finishing their assignments and they were also working on finishing the assessment that they started yesterday on the computer for the last unit that we finished. So that group pretty much worked on doing that and some of the assignments that they were doing today are similar to what my ESOL students started with yesterday, which starts off with comparing with good. We're using comparative adjectives and then on the back they're comparing with bad and then as they finish that, they completed this one just so that they can, I can see their understanding of it and I can adjust my lessons accordingly. And then they started reading this passage on the Eastern influence since we're looking at a new unit on how can learning about the past help us understand the present. This one happens to be on the influence of Chinese or Asian immigrants. So here are some information they needed to answer the questions here and they needed to complete the graphic organizer, which in retrospect, I should have added more spaces for them to fill in important dates, but I kind of show them how they can cluster some of the events, put them in order by clusters, and then when we go over it on Thursday, I'll explain it to them a little better. With my afternoon group, which ended up being my ELL students, we were introducing the new unit, which is Wonders Unit Week 5, Unit 5 Week 5, and this one, again, like I said, is about history, learning about history, helping us understand the present. So I gave them my new introduction to the unit handout. So this is the handout right here where they needed to write something that they learned from the opener video. 
something they found surprising from the study blast, and something that they learned from, or that they liked, I'm sorry, from the read aloud. And just like I shared with you last week, I used Classroom Screen. This time it's like a spring screen that I put together with a different video from Bear's Chill Hop. And I created images for each of those things that the students needed to do. So learned after the video, surprising after the study blast. And again, I could put a timer here, put the, the music on so they can have nice lo-fi music as they work. And then the last one here, of course, is light. Now here's something that I would like to share with you. So after we finished introducing the unit, which takes a good chunk of time, they went to specials. After specials, I kind of finished up by doing the read aloud, but then I was supposed to start reading that same passage that my homeroom did, which is the Eastern influence, but I was exhausted and it was after PE. And this is kind of like a note to myself to make sure I incorporate some kind of fun lesson or activity especially for the afternoon or even for the last 30 minutes or so of my morning class just to like get me going and get them going because if i'm feeling exhausted and tired i'm sure they are as well so something that i've been reflecting on since the school day ended and i wanted to share here in the video so maybe some of you have felt that way before especially now that we're coming to the last eight weeks of school i can't believe i'm saying that but yes the school period or the school year actually is ending in eight weeks, which is crazy, but it's the truth. So anyway, I'm exhausted. I'm going to grab my things and go. Tomorrow's a teacher planning day. I will be coming to work and the students won't be here, but I'm going to get ahead in a couple different things that I wanted to do. And yeah, the students will be back on Thursday and I'll let you know how that goes. I will check in with you tomorrow during my planning day so I can at least let you know what I wanted to accomplish for tomorrow and what I actually ended up doing. And this is how tired I am that I forgot to finish my train of thought in that last clip. <laughs> so instead of reading the Eastern influence like I did with my homeroom or they did independently, that but I was gonna make sure I did it with my ELLs, I showed them the weekend wrap from vocabulary from last week that was published on Friday, April 5th. I went over it with them so they understood the big news events that happened that week. And I did vocabulary week and wrap junior. And then after that, we did the five question quiz just to show their understanding of that. At least it was kind of exciting and fun, but I want to incorporate something else that maybe has movement or a puzzle or, you know, leaning towards the fun ways that my students love to learn. So just keeping that in mind for future plans and one last thing see I'm so like tired today is national unicorn day yes April 9th every year national unicorn day so I am wearing my unicorn is my spirit animal shirt so here it is super cute and with a little unicorn right there so happy national unicorn day I know you are definitely not watching that on that day probably but anyway that's all I have to say for my thoughts currently. Hello everyone, it's Wednesday. Just wanted to check in on this planning day, which I need to go home because the school building is gonna close in about 15 minutes. But I should have given you a before picture of the table that was behind my desk. You may have seen tiny glimpses of it in previous vlogs from the school year, the 2023-2024 school year. But today, for my planning day, I came in, I finished inputting the last grades that I just wanted to update, and then I went to a meeting for the wellness committee, then I went to a grade level meeting, and when I came back, I wanted to go ahead and start working on decluttering, <laughs> but then I got distracted with classroom screen, which I'm gonna show you in a moment what I ended up doing there, and finding all these really cool widgets that I hadn't played with, but I did, clean up and dusted this area so i want to show you don't mind this bag this is basically my dinner for tonight but this table was full of stuff it was chaotic and the cables from this non-functioning tv i mean it turns on but the closed caption doesn't or the closed circuit tv system doesn't work um so i kind of try to put the cables up there and then i dusted this and organized this a little bit better and have my you know teacher materials there organize this so nobody <laughs> is searching for my phone which was hidden behind a whole bunch of stuff 
and like I said I dusted here so this looks really nice and I went ahead and try to also kind of declutter my desk a bit I do have a different riser for my monitor which I want to use let me see if maybe tomorrow or Friday I get to clean up the desk and organize it a little bit better but yeah this is what I worked on this is my my big thing <laughs> today was clearing this off and yes I still need to do this so if I don't do another before of other decluttering that I need to do here it is now here is this table and of course the couch there's the couch there underneath all that stuff that I need to declutter everywhere else in the room is pretty much okay it's just those areas so let me show you what I ended up doing today in classroom screen so I discovered this different animated background which I absolutely love and I also discovered these tables they're called timetables and basically they're down here I moved it over here because you can customize your widgets timetables so if I open up the settings, basically you can come up here and decide whether to make it a time schedule or a checklist and whether you want to show the title or not. And then you decide what time to start the timetable and what activities to include. And you can click here and you'll have different um, little pictograms that you can use to symbolize each activity or to go with each activity you set the duration if it's a timetable and yeah you can move these around too if you want to switch it up and they have a total of 12 activities that you can add and again you can customize the color of this so it goes by times and there is an alarm that goes off when the time ends so I want to try it tomorrow and see how it is this is a different timetable and I just put today's agenda this one you can check off as you complete the assignments and of course I put the calendar if you make the calendar look bigger it actually looks like a calendar but I want it to make it like that the other thing I did is I created different lo-fi boards so this one has this nice little music playing and I just put the little video on the side because you can go ahead and um, insert videos from YouTube all you have to do is copy the link and I like that so going back to home these are all my lo-fi beats boards. So I have 10 from Bear's Chill Hop and four from Lo-Fi Girl. There are a total of six that have animated backgrounds and six that do not in case I just want to freeze the screen while I'm playing the music. And then I organize some of my boards, my timers and management, my reading boards and my writing boards. The reason I have my board saved is because I do spend, I think it's like 20 something dollars for the year so that I can save all my boards. So that is what I ended up doing for today. I'm gonna gather my things, cause like I said, the building's gonna close in a few minutes, but tomorrow's another day and it's Thursday and the students are back in school. So I'll let you know how it goes and how it went with the new classroom screen timetables. Hello, my beautiful people. We have made it to the end of the day Thursday and it was a pretty good day. I went ahead and tried out the new classroom screen that I showed you yesterday, and I'm really happy with how it went. I will do some tweaks here and there, and then for my afternoon class, which is my homeroom today on Thursday, I did add one more widget that I thought about using to kind of encourage each group to make better choices. So this is what it looks like today. All right, so this is basically how it looks at the end of the day Thursday. And for my schedule, I pretty much like how it is. I just need to adjust it by adding some break time and adjust some of the time so I have more time to transition between um, like lunch and music and dismissal. With my agenda, I really liked it. With my afternoon group, we basically got through the introduction. I know it was very ambitious of me to think that we can get through more than this. I mean, we did start reading the Eastern influence, but we didn't finish. We went on a few tangents because my afternoon class today is my advanced group, so they have questions and then we go on tangents on different topics. So that happened and then they have questions and you know, it moves on. But with my block two that I started today, they didn't have this since we already did this on Tuesday, but they were working on this. So we did that, we did this and we did this. 
So we didn't get to this with my block two, so tomorrow I'm gonna move that over. And with my block one, which I start tomorrow with, we'll go ahead and make sure we work on the other things that we didn't finish. So this is the widget that I added. I do have them by different groups that are Minecraft themed, and I decided to do this scoreboard. So this is another widget that is on classroom screen. Oh, and I switched it to dark mode, so it looks like this now. Uh, so with the scoreboard, there's different options, and I chose the rocket option. So if I go into settings, uh, I call it rocket, but it's the race option. They also have points, they have home away, but I thought the race would be a cute one to use. So I did add the teams, and there's different ways to like reset their score. I'm not gonna reset it until next week. So I'm keeping their score as this for now. And then you can add teams. I'm a team because when they're not making a good choice, then I get a point. And if my team has more point than the others, then I win and the rest of the teams don't win. But if they have more than me, then for this group, for example, for Emerald Leaders, they got five dojo points for being on task today because they did such a good job at doing that. So let me show you the other options because I really like these other options. So over here, you can change the style. So they wanted to do the turtle, but you could do the rocket. You could do like um, boxes that get filled or you could just do like a progress kind of uh, board. And then you can reset all the scores and choose what color. I did choose a dark one. So I chose the black one here. And I did choose the colors for the teams that go with what they are related to. So redstone is red, gold, of course, emerald, diamond, lapis is blue, iron is like a gray color, and I decided to go with purple. So I, I'm really loving how I did this classroom screen today. And of course, I had my bear chill hop music that I could play when they were working independently on doing their different things. And I also used my timer boards since I was doing the introduction with my homeroom. So I had the one for learned and I just noticed that one of my pictures is gone. Oh, there it is, learned, this one. This one for learned, this one for surprising and this one for light. So they were doing that as well. And um, yeah, so those are the screens that I chose for today. I really like this one. It came out really great. It was really useful. And I love that in the schedule, the alarm goes off. I chose a harp because it sounds very nice. Let me see if I can have you listen to the harp so you can see how it sounds. Cause I, I like, see it's kind of soothing. So I like it. So I know that, oh, now we need to go to the next thing. And then it'll highlight what that was. So I know that it's checked off right now, but tomorrow it'll be unchecked and it'll be white. And once it moves on, um, it goes you know, through the whole thing. So yeah, really loving this. I'm thinking that maybe on another day or another week, maybe what I can do is my classroom vlogs will be just featuring classroom screen and the different ways that I'm using it throughout that week. So I am thinking of doing that for an upcoming week before the school year ends. We are currently in week 31 and there's 39 weeks in the school year. So if you do the math, yep, we have eight more weeks left of school as of today because the last day with the students will be on a Thursday, June 6th. So yeah, I am going to work on a couple of things to get together for tomorrow, reset the agenda and also tweak the schedule so it has the breaks you know, scheduled in and it may be easier to go through tomorrow but really loving this classroom screen way to go with making all these um awesome updates so i will see you tomorrow hello everyone it's the end of the day friday and i've been here for a long time getting all my lessons and papers and copies done for next week i had two things that i wasn't able to copy but i left it on my desk so that on monday I can find some time to get it done. One is the homework for next week and the other one is a test that my ELL students will take next Friday. But I do have to give you an update on classroom screen. I really loved it today. I used it again with the tweaks that I made and it was great. Like we were focused on what we needed to do. 
we got through what we needed to get through of course there's some things that we didn't get to but it's okay because i was able to fit it into my plans for next week so let me show you because i already did my classroom screens for all of next week and what i ended up doing is i separated the screens per block that i have of my students so that the to do or the agenda for the day it's already set for that class so all i have to do is just switch to the next screen so as you can see i have a collection right here of my daily screens so i i go on monday and let's just zoom out of that so that we can see it in the whole screen i have my schedule on the left side we're doing some ketchup and pickles the agenda and i also have the team points and that actually has been working really well since I started implementing it yesterday. This is for my block two. And if you notice, I did label each screen for the block that it belongs to. So that's Monday. Those are the two screens for Monday. This is for Tuesday for block two and then block one. Wednesday for block one and then block two. Thursday for block two and block one. And then Friday for block one and then block two. So I'm very excited about this. And I actually also love the spotlight feature. Let me show you that quickly. So let's say at any time I want to spotlight any of these widgets. So I can just click on it and then just do shift S and there it is. And I can go ahead and manipulate it and things like that. You could do that with any of the widgets that you have, including pictures. Let's say I insert a picture, which I did today with one of my blocks. Here is the picture that I inserted for my block two today. So let's say I put it here, but then if I click on Shift S, sorry, I clicked on Control S by accident. If I click on Shift S, <laughs> There it is, it takes up more space in the screen, which will be great also, or was great on the Promethean. So I really love the spotlight feature. And of course you can just shift S to go back to normal. And that of course is in the three dots over here, spotlight, but I like the keyboard shortcuts. So those are my classroom screens for next week. And I'm really excited. I still have my collections for lo-fi beats, my timers and management, reading and writing. So really happy with this so far. And I also went ahead and I bought some plastic organizers. Here they are from Amazon. There's 23 different organizers. So there's little ones and then there's like the bigger ones because I want to use it to organize my desk. As you can see, this is a mess. So um, yeah, I didn't have time to do it today, but next week, next week. Another thing I didn't have time for was reorganizing my desk, which I told students I will switch, you know, different teams, switch them around and change the setup of the desk. But I'm very tired. Like I said, it's past 730 and I'm going to go home. And that's the end of week 31. Next week will be week 32. And like I mentioned before, there's only 39 weeks in the school year. So it's sad that we're getting so close to the end because I really love my students. And we're also four weeks away from the other state tests that we need to do, one for reading and one for math. So we're getting there. All right, so I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought or any questions you may have. Also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. I hope you have a beautiful, magical day, and don't forget to smile. Hello, dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.